welcome to the second half of Ignite Phoenix number 11. Yes! Who had a chance to try something tasty at a food truck? Okay. Who's going to go back and try something tasty at a different food truck after the show? You are all very wise. Now, before we kick off the second half, we are going to do something that we call Ignite or Slideshow Karaoke. Now, we, yes. The mal uh, malicious evil spirit in me really, really enjoys this part of the show. So, at the end of the first half, we drew three names. And I would like to bring out these three lucky souls for all, for all of you to meet. Please, come on out. Going first is going to be Larry. Immediately behind him will be Heidi. And batting cleanup will be Brady. Now, we're gone. As I mentioned, I have prepared an Ignite Phoenix type presentation uh, that they have not seen that very few people have seen, and the people who have seen it told me that I was a very disturbed individual. <laughs> They're going to each come out in turn and talk about six of those slides. They have never seen these before, and they are to present these as if this was the thing they were most passionate about in the entire world. When they are all done, so each of them is gonna get six slides, there's gonna be a switch, and then that person's gonna run off, and the next person's gonna run on and present their six slides. Each one, each group kind of has a theme to it, um, but really, they're just a bunch of disjointed images designed to give them uh, nightmares. <laughs> when, I am, when they are done, we'll bring all three on stage, and by round of applause from you, oh wise audience, we will decide who is the winner, and they will get fabulous and wonderful prizes again from one of our great sponsors, AKA Bookmans. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. All right. So if I could get a huge round of applause for Larry, let's start Slideshow Karaoke! Hey! Hey, everybody! I'm waiting for my slide. Oh, here it is. There seems to be some books. You know, I'm not really accustomed to standing on a stage like I am here, because I spent my whole life in the music business putting people on a stage. But here I am, and I guess I'm going to talk to you about greeting cards, because that's what's up here. Is that what you see up there? But I can't really tell you very much about greeting cards. But what's amazing, oh, now you can see this flag. But here's what's amazing about this is that, and I don't think these guys even know this, but I wrote a book on this topic, and I'm actually one of the worldwide experts on American flags and things about them and the people that stand in front of them and play musical instruments like these guys are. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't really tell you much about this because this is a book that I actually wrote for both the CIA and the FBI, and so unless people here have a security clearance, I can't even talk about it. But I can talk to you a little bit about King Kong. Oh, just one second. Here's King Kong on here. There's a tweet coming in. Excuse me a second. Oh my God, this is from my mother. She said, stand up straight and talk more slowly. I can't believe my mother even knows anything about Ignite. How did she do this? But my mother also says, I love you. Don't you think that's just sweet? Well, anyway, so <laughs> this is my cat, Pork Chop. And my wife is here. How did you get Pork Chop on the slide up here? I don't know how, I don't know how all this stuff happens. But I'm done. Thank you very much. I'm Heidi, and I'm going to talk to you about babies. They are terrifying. I, <laughs> I don't know how you feel about babies. I'm sure lots of you have babies, but for me, they're scary. The whole concept, the alien thing, terrifying. Look at those scary little critters. Even though they're dressed up for Halloween, I guess it's kind of cute. They're kind of less scary as a pirate and a monkey than they are as real little burping, pooping things. <laughs> So, um, oh, and that, okay, you guys think dressing up your cats and dogs for Halloween is bad? Just saying, that's, 
That's kind of scary. That's probably scarier than most of your Halloween costumes. And I saw zombies today. Now that, that's what you can do with babies. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I mean, it's good for both of you. You get your ninja skills worked out and he also gets to limber up. I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> that's, that's probably the most scary thing so far. But maybe that. You can shave the baby. That is just wrong. You were really drunk. <laughs> Look at it, it's like, no. No, and I thought babies by themselves were scary enough. I'm passionate about rural farmhouses painted red and horses. <laughs> Casting shadows. I'm not sure why I'm passionate about that. That looks like some sort of a pig in a public pool. Which reminds me of a summer break in Mazatlan. And one of the reasons why I no longer drink. I'm also lactose intolerant. Especially when I see an attractive woman on a park bench. <laughs> New Zealand, where men are men and sheep are nervous. I think that's what that is. You can see his friends in the back. Hi, Heidi. I don't have any sort of spoons like this anywhere in my house. But I have a birthmark kind of like that. Now we're talking. <laughs> this guy looks like he shaves also. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm still passionate. I'm just speechless. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, demented, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. For the record, you should see the ones that don't make it in. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, a big round of applause for these three very, very brave people. And just quickly, because she thought she was gonna escape unscathed, a big round of applause for Vanna White, AKA Auden Hughes over at the end over there. Now, which one of these people presented their material with the most authority, the least amount of crumbling under the crazy pressure? Was it Heidi? Was it Larry? Was it Brady? Congratulations, Brady. I think you are the best at this. So we have first place prize, bag, all kinds of goodies and stuff, courtesy of Bookman's. And I think there you go. So one big round of applause for them. Now lead. And a big round of applause as I leave the stage and bring out the second half of Ignite Phoenix. Yeah. 